So now we are ready to show our main conclusion. So consider the uh, dealer have initial cash IC and it's the IS. So using the property rule, we know the property running out of cash is approximately the ratio, right? Q over P, which is this is remember this is the cash run out, this is class running in, right? P lambda P P B is a cash running out. Lambda A times A is cash running in. So go back to the slide before. Okay, you see this is a cash in and cash out, right? P lambda A P A lambda P P B or uh, you look at the ratio, right? This is odd ratio is uh, cash is like lambda B over lambda lambda B times P B over lambda A times P A. So uh, that is what it is. Okay, is over this. The exponential is I C for P R, which is the price uh, on average that people would buy and sell. And this only occurs when uh, the numerator is uh, less than the denominator. So, so it's a uh, P A lump. Lambda APA is bigger than lambda PPB. Otherwise, it's always uh, running out of cash. And similarly, running out of stock is uh, uh, is lambda A over PB. So lambda A over lambda B, uh, because uh, stock gets out of the hand at the rate lambda A and get in the lambda B. Okay. So in order to avoid moon, okay, we must make sure that this Two conditions are satisfied. Is lambda APA bigger than lambda BPB and lambda lambda B bigger than lambda A? So you have two conditions here. And remember all these functions are all the value are positive, right? So you can swap. Okay, the second equality you can swap them because they are all Positive, or you can say divide both sides by lambda lambda b. Then you have this function, and because everything is positive, so you can multiply left hand side on the left hand side, right hand side on the left hand side. And then what you left is p a bigger than p b, which means what we want to prove is the dealer want to set buying price higher than selling price, and to do so is to avoid being ruined. In the other words, uh. The bigger the bid are spread, the bigger uh, the demand unmatched, right? If the dealer believes that uh, the, de the market is not very certain and demand supply come in different time, they may be unbalanced, then they will set uh, the spread is much bigger, which is also feed when there's a currency crisis and there's a stock crisis, a crop market crash. The market maker don't really know whether demand and supply will uh, balance, or it may be get when market crash, a lot of selling order may comes in. So that's why he set the bid spread as big as possible. So uh, now we want to look at a special case so that we want to look at how the bid spread is being calculated. So one way to consider is a dealer implement a zero drift in inventory, which means that. Uh, he, ex he want to implement a policy that he don't want to accumulate more stock or lack stock the expectation. So that means that uh, the first one is the uh, cash, right? The second stock. So instead of uh, strict inequality, you have equality. So lambda B and lambda A is equal to lambda. In that case, the dealer would be uh, try to maximize profit, which is because the flow of the stock is lambda, and every time point of time, the profit he going to make is uh, the uh, selling price mi minus buying price is PA minus PB. So look at graphically. So remember we have a down sloping demand lambda A, and our supply curve lambda B. So in the absence of dealer's market in a competitive market, the market clears P star. And lambda star. However, because of the uh, cost of immediacy with the dealer, 
if we implement a zero drift inventory approach, so he will you choose the same lambda. Okay, by choosing the same lambda, there's some distortion. Uh, then you will set the price lambda A and the price lambda B P B. And the profit he going to make is the uh, blue area. Okay, so you try to choose the lambda such that this area is maximized. And here you can see that um, you can look at how the elasticity of demand supply changes the uh, uh, spread, right? You can see if lambda B is more flat or more steep, or lambda A is more steep or more flat, then what kind of price change you can see?